Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Chuck, it's Chris Wall with Simply Vegas Real Estate. Today is October 9th. Uh, the weather right now, it's a little bit chilly. As you can see, I'm wearing this windbreaker jacket today. Uh, it's probably about 70 degrees out right now, but uh, there's definitely a wind chill in the air. Um, the United States uh, Fed funds rates, the Federal Reserve's left a target range for its federal funds rate on exchange at one point. Uh, I'm sorry, 1% to 1.2% during September of uh, 2017 meeting. Um, the Fed funds, the Federal Reserves, you really got to um, watch out with these interest rates. If they raise the interest rates, what happens is um, it's going to cost you more money to actually purchase a home. Your payments are going to actually increase. Also, uh, December, there's one more meeting. Uh, Janet Yellen, chairwoman the Federal Reserve, uh, she's talking about trying to raise rates uh, one more time, possibly to 1.5. Also, you have to keep in mind that, you know, we've been at a 0%, a 0 uh, for the past like eight, nine years now. And you have to understand that these bond, the bond markets, they're coming due. And I'm talking about the 10-year bond notes, also the 30-year bond notes. So what happens is these investors that are buying our bonds, which is IOUs, um, at this point, they're coming due. So how do we pay this off? We have to raise interest rates and we tax our um, citizens to pay off those bonds, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, you know, a half a point or a quarter of a point could really impact you purchasing a home. So let me give you a general idea. The home that you could purchase today for 300000 if they raise rates because you're a debt-to-income ratio, you may not be able to purchase that home in the near future. So keep that in mind as home pricing is going up here in the Las Vegas Valley. Uh, unemployment throughout the nation. Uh, right now, unemployment is about 4.2%. Here in Las Vegas, Nevada, we're at 5.6%. Okay. Now, the other thing about it is that if we take a look at our population growth at this time, we have about 2.2 million people that currently live here in Clark County. Now, you have to understand that you know that is a lot of people for this small metropolitan area. And also, um, we have over about 42 million people visiting Las Vegas each year. And I think this year we'll probably hit over 43 million. So what, the, what does this mean to you as, um, you know, you purchasing a home in the near future as far as growth, that's exactly what it is. It's growth. That means our economy is actually doing good and people are coming out here and spending money, okay? The money that they're spending, they're taking care of, you know, the bellman, the clerk, you know. I mean, they're really stimulating our economy here in Las Vegas. And, you know, you have to understand that Las Vegas is the entertainment capital of the world. This is where people come and spend that extra money. So that's why it's very important to really take a look at this data. And it starts off with tourism. And we have to see exactly how many people are coming here every single month. Now, if these numbers start declining, then at this point, now is probably the time to sell your home. Okay? But uh, things are really going really well. And um, housing market continue to rise here in the Las Vegas Valley. Okay? Uh, GDP, uh, gross domestic products in the United States expanded to 2.2% in the second quarter of 2017. Over the same quarter of the previous year's GDP, which is gross, dom gross domestic products, annual rate in the United States is about 3.2%. Now, if we take a look at the data uh, since um, Trump took over, uh, it's actually gone up to 2.2%, which is... Uh, the feds are expected to to have it hit uh, about 3.5% what they're expecting. Also, the other thing is that when GDP goes up, right, this is an indicator for the feds to actually raise rates, okay? However, remember, when we start raising rates, we can pay off those bonds. But the feds, they have to do a fine line as far as balance between uh, the target inflation and also GDP, which is gross domestic products. Also, you have the bond market that uh, takes effect because we have to pay off those bonds, but we also have inflation uh, that we have to worry about. And also, we, don't, we have no choice but to raise interest rates in the near future because we have to pay off our bonds. But uh, the Fed, obviously, they're doing something right as far as balancing out the sheets 
as far as um, all the numbers. Okay, let's talk about um, new homes throughout the country. And this is the United States S&P Home Price Index. Okay, and this is calculated through uh, 20 major politan areas in the United States. Actually rose by 5.8% year on year in July of uh, 2017. Okay, so for new home sales, things are actually going up for new home sales at this time, which is a good thing. But however, if we take a look at the new home sales out here in Las Vegas, new home sales out here in Las Vegas is just ridiculous. Um, what I've noticed is, what I've noticed that a lot of these builders, I mean, they're just building all over the place and people are just, you know, going out there and buying new homes and not really doing the research. I literally had one client that flew in from Hawaii and we were actually looking at a townhome. The medium townhome right now is about $170,000 average. But uh, she actually was approved for 220. But I was, a I was able to show her properties around 220 and there were detached homes, right? And we got her offer accepted. But she went to this new home development. It's called, um, I think it was Lennox from Lennar or something like this. And um, she literally just bought a townhome for $230,000 instead of buying a home. Now remember, the, the medium price for a townhome today is 170000 So she overpaid for a property like that. Now here's the thing. I'm not knocking new homes because I do like new homes because it's great when you you know, walk into a new home and you don't have to worry about nothing, everything is clean, it's brand new, it's great. However, people don't understand that when you're buying a new home, you're going to have to live in that home for a certain period of years for the market to catch up as far as what the property's worth. So let me give you an example. So basically, we could have bought a house, okay, for 100, 220, but the median price for a townhome was at 170. If she bought a townhome at 170 versus buying that townhome at 230, right, she would have been fair market value. However, she bought a townhome at 230, 235, now she's going to have to wait for the market to catch up as far as the appreciation. Now what happens if the market crashes? Then she's screwed, obviously. Now, hopefully that doesn't happen. But now, if we take a look, we are growing about 4% um, of equity every quarter. So you have to figure out how long is she going to have to be in that property for her just to break even if she needs to sell it. Also, the thing that you have to look at, about, look at about new homes is you have the base price, then you have the final price. The base price is actually the entry level, but then you have upgrades that you have to come in with. And with the upgrades that you have to come in with, you have to put a certain percent, percentage down. Uh, some companies will require you 10%, some may require you uh, 50%, okay? And I wanna stress that it's very important to always work with a realtor on a new home because a realtor can actually get you a better deal, believe it or not with you just going by yourself. And what happens uh, nine times out of 10, um, a lot of buyers just don't understand the contract. And they also don't understand that that sales agent that's working with that developer actually really works with that developer. They're not representing you at all. But what happens is you get emotionally involved in buying a new home, but you just sign every single paper and you don't know how things work. So you have to be careful about that, okay? Uh, existing home sales throughout the country um, previous uh, owned homes in the United States actually dropped by 1.7%, believe it or not, and this is throughout the United States. Uh, the median price throughout the country is uh, $258,100. Here in uh, Las Vegas, the median price for a home right now is at $265,000 with an average days on the market about 14 days. Things are moving wake out here believe it or not I mean and, and the reason why I literally just got a uh, email today a gentleman out in California you know explaining that the um, home pricing out there is about seven seven hundred thousand dollars for a condo also I speak to a lot of clients out in the East Coast because a lot of our clients that are actually moving here is from uh, California or somewhere in the East Coast a lot of people in California they know that they're um, 
state is basically in bankruptcy and they're taxing the hell out of their people and I totally understand, okay? So basically what they're doing is coming out here because number one, the homes are cheaper, you get a better tax break as well. Um, same thing out in, um, you know, like uh, New York City. A lot of my clients are from the East Coast. I mean, some of these property taxes is so ridiculous. $18,000 a year, that's just crazy. Also, they're trying to get out of the snow. A lot of people don't want to shovel snow anymore. And what I'm seeing is a lot of people want to retire out here because of the climate. Now, also, one of the things that I've seen that I think new builders need to take aware of and what they should do is actually build uh, new homes for um, age-restricted communities. Because there's really not that many age-restricted communities out here. There's probably like less than 10 uh, communities, but there's like four major uh communities where everybody likes to go but however you have to understand that our baby boomers they are retiring every single day about 19,000 of them are retiring every single day and like I said a lot of them are moving on out here so that's I think we're lacking for new homes for age restricted and I think if builders uh, build something like that I, I think that would be a great market I know that a new development is taking place which is a uh, totally springs and I think they're only building about 2,000 homes and there's another uh, builder, I can't think of the name right now, and uh, just right off the 215 and Flamingo, uh, they're building actually custom uh, townhomes for uh, age restricted, but these things range about $400,000. I mean, pricing is uh, continuing to go up, so it's very important if you're sitting on the sidelines, if you want to, uh, thinking about buying a home. You know, the best thing to do is visit lvhomeexperts.com. I really encourage you to go to that website because, number one, uh, all the properties that are actually on that site is actually a direct fee feed from the MLS, which is the Multiple Listing Service. This is where all agents are required to input the listing into the system. However, what happens is lvhomeexperts.com actually syndicates the deal. Now, the good news about this is the properties that you do view online with lvhomeexperts.com, all the properties are actually currently active for sale at that time. Not like these other websites, I'm not going to mention names like the big conglomerate companies that everybody knows about. Unfortunately, I get calls all the time, hey Chuck, is this property available? Unfortunately, the property is not available or they call and say, is this price real? It's not. Okay, The median price is about two sixty five dollars in today's market. Okay, so. Don't forget to visit lvhomeexperts.com. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas.